Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a clothing declutter. Today we are going to be tackling Wyatt's clothes, who is my toddler, and we're going to be going through all of the baby clothes. I think I have four bins of clothes, both bigger and smaller, plus a huge dresser, and then his closet. So we're going through a lot today. I am filming the intro on the phone on my phone just because it's easier, but we will be switching over to the camera. So if you're a little appalled by the quality, I'm sorry about that, but we are going to be decluttering. This is going to be kind of KonMari style. I'm only going to be keeping things that I truly love. I am holding on to the smaller clothing, minimal items for sentimental reasons, but for if and when we have a third child, if it is a boy, it's easier to have all of the clothes ready. So do keep that in mind, but I don't need to keep as many bins as what I have currently. If you enjoy decluttering videos, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what I should declutter next because I'm thinking kids toys. So that's enough talking from me. Let's get started with this declutter. So here is an overview of what Wyatt's closet looks like. We aren't going to be tackling the top there. Um, up here are sentimental things from when Max was a baby and then the rest I just, it's not the day to go through that stuff. But as you can see like right here, I don't have enough hangers for all of the sweaters he has and this is too many. He only wears them like twice each because he then goes up in size. So I think I'm only going to try and keep five sweaters. I think that's plenty. He does have some special occasion clothes over here. Those will be staying like little suits and tuxedos for, like I said, special occasions. And then you come down here, that is an infant play mat and a play pen. But these two blue bins here are clothes that he's already grown out of. So we are going to be going through those. I don't know how much we're going to be getting rid of. Anything that's stained, anything I don't love, I don't need to be holding on to um, for a potential future son. And then over here behind the chair, which currently has a screen because we just had our windows repaired, um, we have this huge bag full of clothes that are too big for him currently so hand-me-downs from his cousin who's a year older and then in that bin is more clothes that he has grown out of um, down here that the baby monitor is sitting on so we have a lot to go through today so let's get started with the sweaters To start, I'm sorting these sweaters by pullover sweaters and zip up sweaters. I figured I don't need to keep a ton of both. And then I like to check the sizing and anything that's too small I immediately discard. And then I will start actually looking at the sweaters I have left and deciding on which ones I want to keep. I did end up keeping six, which is one more than I planned on, but I liked all six of those sweaters, so that's okay. Jumping into pajamas, he has a lot of two-piece sets, um, so I'm just trying to match those up. And there are a surprising amount in there that did not have the matching pair to it. So those were easy discards for me and then I went through and was checking on how worn these pajamas were. A lot of the clothes Wyatt has are hand-me-downs from his cousin who is one year older like I mentioned earlier. So they have been worn a lot by multiple children especially those pajamas with the feet. Sometimes those get worn through with them running around but I'm happy with the amount that I kept there. I decided to hang up that plaid shirt because it was a little nicer than the rest of the just standard onesies. On the left hand side I'm putting long sleeve ones and then on the right I have short sleeves and again I'm just checking the sizes first and then making sure I want to keep them all. These are all of his tops and he had way too many for one kid to wear. 
So again, organizing them by type. So I have long sleeve, short sleeve, and nicer dress shirts. And then checking for size. What I am throwing up onto the gliding chair are pieces of clothing that I want to keep. They just don't fit him anymore. So those I will be storing. And the clothes that are getting tossed behind me are the ones that I am decluttering. So I'm repeating the same process over and over as you will see. Checking the sizes. If I like the top, I am putting it on the chair. If it's not something I would really like to keep, I'm throwing it behind me. And then going through what is left and anything I don't love, he doesn't need to keep. happy with the progress of this drawer as you can see I got rid of a lot now this bin is kind of miscellaneous there are some hats um, swimwear was in here as well as socks and there are also some weird like bandana type things that are for infants more for pictures that I never use so I got rid of those I'm keeping his swimsuit and then there were only a few socks in here that were super small like for really small babies and the rest of them were actually pretty new. Now I'm pulling in the first blue bin and these bins contain literally everything you need for babies. So we have bibs, toys that I wanted to keep, footwear, those types of things. So starting off with bibs, I thought this would be the easiest. I don't know how I accumulated so many. What I'm putting to the right are ones that were handmade for us. So I wanted to hold on to those ones especially and I'm just checking the rest for any that are like blatantly super stained. And then I'm going through and just keeping a handful of them. I am not someone who puts bibs on my kids all that often. I didn't with either of them. Now I'm just taking out the shoes because I had gone through them previously before even storing them. So I know I want to keep those and the rest I'm just dumping out. Going through these bins was less organized than when I went through the other clothes because I'm not really checking for sizes or anything, but I am picking up and looking at every single item. Do I love this item? Do I have any fond memories of Wyatt wearing that item? Are they in good condition? Anything that's stained immediately gets tossed. If I don't have any specific feelings towards it, I'm tossing it even if it is in good condition because somebody else can get better use out of it than I will in the future. The key here is to not spend too much time on each item. I feel like if I looked at things for a little bit longer, I would have ended up holding on to things that I didn't really need just because, I don't know, I liked the way it looked or I remember Wyatt wearing it, but there's definitely some sentimental pieces like his first Christmas outfit, the onesie that we announced his life with, the pregnancy with, things like that I did keep, but I felt that I was pretty ruthless throughout this declutter. I made so much room I was able to put in a car seat cover and my nursing pillow and a few blankets and stuff in there, whereas before it was absolutely filled to the brim. Now with the second blue container, I am going through the same process, same thing, being as ruthless as I can, and actually at the end of it I only had one blue bin. So I ended up having to take the nursing pillow back out of the other one, but then I could fit all of those clothes in just one bin, which I was really happy about. This bin has sizes 12 months and up, 
So there wasn't as much in there except for the two infant snow suits that I just pulled out. And here I was even more ruthless. I feel pretty good about having one container per year, if that makes sense. So that container would contain 12 months to 24 months, and then the blue container has newborn to six to 12 month clothing. Now in this Christmas bag has clothes that are too big for him yet. These are all hand-me-downs. Look at this stack of pants. These are all about the same size. There were a few that would fit him now, which you see me setting aside to add to his drawers. The tops, there weren't that many um, shirts and jackets and sweaters, so I did hold on to quite a bit of those. But the pants, I was more ruthless for because there must have been like 30 pairs of pants there all in one size, and there's no way he needed that many pairs of pants. So. I'm taking out the ones that would fit him now, adding them to his drawer, and then keeping in mind that he is going to need some play clothes, clothes that I don't mind getting dirty or wrecked, but anything that looks a little too worn I am setting aside. There were quite a few pairs of overalls in here and I just kept one per size. I felt like that was good enough. So that is everything. This is how Wyatt's closet turned out. Everything has its place. It does not look super crowded anymore. I was able to move that bin from behind the chair into the closet and everything just looks so much neater. This is the mountain of clothes that I am donating. I am really happy with this amount of progress on his room. That's a lot of clothes that other children could get more use out of rather than me just holding onto them never to be worn again in my small home. They were taking up space, it was unnecessary, and like I said, other children could get more use out of them. These are the only clothes that I'm keeping for the next size up. His birthday is coming up, so he will be getting more then. And this is what his drawers are looking like now, much less cluttered. I know everything fits him and everything is in good condition. I'm just really happy with how this turned out. If you enjoyed today's video, please do give it a thumbs up so that I know. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!